Hey guys, my name is James Walsh, and you are listening to the Wrestling Epicenter here on YouTube. I want to thank you for finding us. Please do me a favor and click that subscribe button and the notifications bell. If you get the chance on this video, click the like button. If you do, it'll turn blue. Check it out. Also, check out WrestlingEpicenter.com for all this great content available in MP3 format, our online store that'll keep us going free and clear, daily news updates, as well as all the information from the history of professional wrestling you could possibly ever want. Check out WrestlingEpicenter.com online right now. Without any delay, let's get to your interview here on the Wrestling Epicenter. Welcome back to the interactive interview. We're joined once again with Terry Reynolds. Terry, how you doing? I am doing lovely. And yourself? It's great to have you back on. I'm doing well. It's great to have you back on once again. I know. Does this mean like we're old friends? I guess so. For the second time, does this mean we're pals? Yeah, I'd like to think so. Okay, cool. All right, good, good. <laughs> so, since we uh, last interviewed you, I saw that you opened up your new, brand new website. I did. It had a very, very rocky start because literally like an hour... After it was launched, um, my my personal and private email address got out, and I had fans calling, and I, that actually what they would do, they would um, my, I had an IM set up to go to my my cell phone, so right, I was getting bombarded and had to shut it down, and so people couldn't get on, and people had paid, and then they couldn't get on, and it was just nuts. Wow. Yeah. But it's all good now, and we're adding new components every day, so it's all good. Well, what can some people that want to uh, visit this website, what can they find on there? Well, all people, not some people, all people. <laughs> all people want to visit this site. That's absolutely right. We, yeah, we, we don't, um, you know, we don't hold anybody back. We open the doors to everyone. Right. Um, well, uh, the cool thing is, and the thing that makes this a little bit different is, um, first of all, it's updated regularly, and, and as those of you who have a subscription to the site now, um, if you're on there, there's a, a new photo in one of the galleries every day or every couple of days. Um, I am getting ready to set up a, an, another photo shoot in the next probably three weeks that, that will be up. Um, and also, it's, you know, there, there's a gallery that's private life. So instead of seeing everything that's posed and perfect and, you know, that Usually that's the only thing people are privy to see. You get to see, you know, me hanging out, being silly with family, with friends, um, with my child. I just put up one the other night, <laughs> and my child's not too happy about this. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, uh, it was it was science experiment night at school, uh -huh. and so Dustin and I went in, and um, we <laughs> we were to conduct an experiment at one table, and they were like, you know, each parent had a different experiment to do and so Dustin and I did this one experiment and, and two kids at a time come to the table to do the experiment well I put the, a picture of of her and this little girl who, were, who was doing the experiment with her on online and she's like mom why'd you do that mom so <laughs> she's not real happy with that but I mean I just think it's cool to to see that you know we all have private lives and real lives and we're human beings that Work hard, play hard, and love hard, and mm -hmm. there you go. You get to peek in there. And I didn't. I derailed. I didn't tell you all the things that are on there. Other than the galleries, there is um, the, the coolest thing to me is the the section on advice, advice on life and relationships. Uh -huh. So if you'll remember the Raw Magazine um, column I used to do, yeah, the advice column. It was like the um, Dear Abby kind of thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, well, this is basically the same kind of forum where you can ask me questions about anything having to do with work, boyfriend, girlfriend, brother, sister, cousin, you know, husband, wife, child, whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. And before, you know, you couldn't always guarantee, in fact, you could rarely guarantee that your, your question would be answered because I got so many in each month and could only fit like three or four on a, you know, on a magazine. So, um, and by the way, I just did an interview the other night, and I said the word um like 52 times, so I have to really concentrate on those things. Um. Don't worry. There's, uh, <laughs> there's been some people that have that have come on the show that have just said nothing but that, and it just I gets hard to look. The other night when I heard myself, I went, Terry Lynn, you said um like a bazillion times. <laughs> so, um, anyway, 
so the the advice column is is a really cool thing, and I I enjoy taking the time to think out the the person's problems, and really I I it's not. It's not an- answered lightly or, you know, quickly and swiftly and cast aside. I really spend time thinking about the person's situation and they get an answer. And it's an answer that they can keep. They can, you know, if they're a big enough fan, they can frame the answer or they, you know, put it off if they want to. If it's not, uh, that that's another issue, too. You know, before, if you, if you sent in a question, it was going to be printed in the magazine. You had no privacy whatsoever. Right. And with this, you have total, it's, you know, confidential and nobody sees it. So um, that's a cool thing. Excellent. And then there's one more thing. Actually, there's two more things that are really cool. What's that? Um, the, the shopping cart or the shopping section where you can go in and basically peruse Marlena's closet or Terry Runnell's closet. Mm. And there's a couple of Alexandra York things that I'm going to put up. I haven't put anything in her closet yet, but there's there's a couple <laughs> that I still have that I'm going to put up for her. So that that's a fun thing. I have a brand new item coming out for Christmas. Mm. And um, it's, it's a Christmas ball, uh-huh. uh, the Christmas ornament. Right. And I take and I kiss the ball, so you get a lip, my actual lip print, <laughs> and that's sealed in in like a I don't know what product they use to seal it, but they seal it, so you, the, the the lipstick won't wipe off. Right. And on the other side, it's personalized. If if I was, you know, if you ordered one, it would say James, right. loving kisses, Terry, and I put the year on it. So it's a really cool either gift for a friend or you know gift for yourself for Christmas. Absolutely. And the, the last thing that I just added is the. Uh, I'm selling a set of those blue balls instead of red and green balls, uh-huh. which that I have red balls and green balls. I'm selling the blue balls only in sets, hmm. and I'll let your imagination run wild and get a good laugh off of that. Yeah, I'm thinking about that one myself. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was kind of fun without being blatant. I thought yeah. it was fun. Yeah, yeah, I had to think about that when you said that for a second. Like, what is she talking about? <laughs> Right, look, just one one comparison site. Um, we had Missy Hyatt on the show several times. We talked about this a little off the air, but how is your site compared to what she's doing? Um, you don't see what my gynecologist sees on my site. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. <laughs> you don't see. I mean, someone in fact, someone wrote me the other night and said that he was really disappointed that he didn't see as much skin as he wanted, and I immediately sent him an email back saying, you know, first of all, thank you for your honesty. I, I appreciate that. And this is, I try to straddle the fence and be, you know, as provocative as, as I can be and as I want to be and at the same time have some sense of class because right. I want my, my daughter to see um, an example of, of a quality, classy a lady. Right. And so that that's a really hard thing. You know, you find yourself wanting to please you know, the young 16-year-old who wants to see nothing but your tatas, right. and you also want to please, you know, some female who's in her 40s or, you know, the mother of that 16-year-old that might get ticked off if he's buying a subscription and seeing my boobs. Right. So, or, or you know, more than that. So, you know, it's it's hard to straddle the fence, but I'm, I'm straddling it nonetheless. <laughs> and I did give that guy... Just for being honest and shooting straight with me, I gave him a, a free membership for a month. Excellent. That's very nice of you to do that. Well, before we close out, we was uh, oh, that's one thing we forgot to mention. I just realized. What is the website address? Thank you. <laughs> it is www.therealterryreynolds.com. And we'll put a link to that on the website. Just before we close out, um, we had Terry Taylor on last week, and between me and my partner, uh, spelling Terry to each other, we keep forgetting which one gets the I and which one gets the right. Y. So, any, yeah. yes, absolutely. But um, he spoke very glowingly of you. We just were curious if you had anything to say to him. Oh, I want to wait. You have to tell me at least one thing he said. Um, he told me that in the days of the of the York Foundation, that when you were managing him, that he, you used to have to ride in the car with him because all the other guys were after you. <laughs> Yeah, he helped me a bit. Yeah, he did. That's... He, um, he was he was one of those people that I there was never a dull moment. He kept me in stitches, laughing, and he's candid sometimes, almost to a fault. Like you can almost he'll just say anything, and whereas you look at him and go, ah, I wanted to say that, and and you just went ahead and said it. Right. He's very honest in that respect, and I'm really thrilled. I I 
didn't know the uh, extent to which he had become a Christian, but I'm thrilled that he has turned his life around and is doing good things. And on that same note, I'm thrilled that my friend Vince Russo has done the same thing. Good for him. Absolutely, and we're supposed to have Vince Russo on in just a few minutes. I'd hate to end this thing on a downer. Oh, no. But um, one of the other things that he said he saw you at was at Ray Trailer's funeral. Um, what are your thoughts and memories of Ray Trailer? Oh, um, it, it's mixed between laughter, just thinking of all of the days we rode up and down the road together, and it's mixed with sadness. And I, one of the hardest things I had to do was watch this hearse pull away and have my best friend in it and i just i just kept saying you know no don't don't go ray don't go and it was it was one of the hardest things i've ever had to do speaking at his funeral and you know standing up there and and looking down and and realizing that that is that was my buddy my full of life buddy was now you know there in front of me and this it just wasn't right so um, I think if if anything, I go through periods of time where I'm, you know, I expect a phone call from him at any moment, and then I have to realize that that's not going to happen, and it mm. breaks my heart. But I really think that if we all took one little tiny speck of the zest and the excitement and fun and um, graciousness that he lived his life with and added it to our lives, would all be would all be doing just fine. Absolutely. Well, we can't thank you enough for coming back on. It's therealterryreynolds.com. Yeah. And um, you're going to be giving me a membership. I'll be sure to review it on the recap and let everybody know just what I think of the site. It'll probably be positive, so don't worry about that. You know what? I just, well, I'll, I'll take honesty. Shoot straight with me. I'm a big girl. I can take it. Well, you know, I mean, uh, I'll be honest with you and uh, say that I've getting, uh, I've been lucky enough to be getting some free items from guests, and I've not lied about any of them. I got a free CD from Chris Jericho that I am I have mixed emotions on. So, I mean, I told him that, the same as I will tell you, the honest truth. Very good. Well, we can't thank you enough for coming on, and stay tuned for more from the interactive interview. Good night.